Today is about standard deviation. After this video, you will know what standard deviation is, how you can calculate it and why there are two different formulas. And finally, what is the difference to the variance? At the end of this video, I have a tip for you. So let's get started. So what is the standard deviation? The standard deviation is a measure of how much your data scatters around the mean. So the standard deviation has something to do with the scatter of your data. For example, how different the answers of your respondents are. Here's an example. Let's say you measure the height of a small group of people. The standard deviation tells us how much your data scatters around the mean. So we first need to calculate the mean. You can get a mean simply by summing the heights of all individuals and dividing it by the number of individuals. Let's say we get a mean value of 155 centimeters. Now we want to know how much each person deviates from the mean. So we look at the first person who deviates 18 centimeters from the mean value. The second person deviates 8 centimeters from the mean value and so on. Finally, person number 6 deviates 6 centimeters from the mean value. So simply said, people that are very small or very tall deviate more from the mean value. Now, of course, you're not interested in the deviation of each individual person from the mean value, but you want to know how much the persons deviate from the mean value on average. So how much do these persons on average deviate from the mean value? This is what the standard deviation tells us. In our example, the average deviation from the mean value is 12.06 centimeters. And now, of course, the next question is, how can we calculate the standard deviation? You can calculate the standard deviation with the following formula. Sigma is the standard deviation, n is the number of persons, xi is the size of one single person, and x dash is the mean value of all people. So the standard deviation is the root of the sum of square deviations divided by the number of values. For our example, this means that we calculate the size of the first person minus the mean and square that, then the size of the second person minus the mean and then square that, and so on until we arrive at the last person. Then we divide this number by the number of people, so 6, and take the root of it. The result is then 12.06 centimeters. So each individual person has some deviation from the mean, but on average the people deviate 12.06 centimeters from the mean, which is now our standard deviation. Now you might notice one thing. I always talk about the average deviation from the mean. But for the average deviation, I would actually just add up all deviations and divide it by the number of participants, just like you calculate a mean value, right? You're absolutely right, but there are different mean values. In the case of the standard deviation, it's not the arithmetic mean which is used, but the quadratic mean. If the arithmetic mean would be used, the result would be zero every time. So far so good, but now there's one more thing to consider. There are two slightly different formulas for the standard deviation. In the first formula there is a deviation by n and in the other one there is a deviation by n minus 1. But why that? Why are there two different formulas? Usually you want to know the standard deviation of the whole population. For example, you want to know the standard deviation of height of all American professional soccer players. Now, if you had the height of all American soccer players, you would take this equation with 1 divided by n. However, it is usually not possible to investigate the entire population, so you take a sample. 
Then you use this sample to estimate the standard deviation of the population. In that case, you use this formula. Therefore, whenever you have data of the whole population and you want to calculate the standard deviation for just this data, you use 1 divided by n. Therefore, whenever you have data of the whole population and you want to calculate the standard deviation for just this data, you use 1 divided by n. If you only have one sample and you want to estimate the standard deviation, you use n minus 1. So to keep it simple, if your survey doesn't cover the whole population, you always use the formula on the right side. Likewise, if you have conducted a clinical study, for example, then you also use the formula on the right side to infer the population. Let's look at the next question now. What is the difference between the standard deviation and the variance? As you now know, the standard deviation is the average distance from the mean. The variance now is the squared average distance from the mean. So we have one and the same formula. The only difference is that in order to calculate the standard deviation, we take the root. In order to calculate the variance, we don't do that. To put it the other way around, the variance is the squared standard deviation and the standard deviation is the root of the variance. However, this squaring results in a figure which is quite difficult to interpret. Since the unit of the calculated variance does not correspond to the original data. For this reason, it is advisable to always use the standard deviation to describe a sample as this makes interpretation a lot easier for you. The standard deviation is always in the same unit as the original data. In our example, this would be centimeters. And finally, as promised, I have a tip for you. If you want to calculate the standard deviation, you can easily do it online with DataTab. Just visit datatab.net, copy your data into the table, Select the variable you want to calculate and afterwards you will get the standard deviation in a very easy way. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.